WandaVision episode 9 is out, the season is over, and we need to discuss it. First, let's discuss the episode itself, then we're gonna move to discussing what we're gonna see in the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Yes, the thing that I was talking about when we were discussing episode 8 is that Agatha is really taking the magic from people and make herself stronger. And I like that thing because it makes her a bit deeper than I expected. Vision. Two visions. That was really painful. When Wanda first met White Vision, that was so sad. Like understanding that the body is from the old vision, from her vision, makes this scene even more painful than it was supposed to be. <laughs> and yeah, they make, as I expected, a little battle for their own home, for their own world. And that was epic. And I loved that. You know, the thing that made me confused that Hayward created a new vision, but hold on. So there was a thing, I honestly, and I'm sure I remember that Wanda has stolen Vision's body. Maybe that's me, maybe that's my something with my memory, but I'm pretty sure that was sad that I have to rewatch that. Somewhere in the episode four, probably maybe five, when we started discovering what's going on there. And then in episode nine, it was sad that Hayward just created a new vision. So where's the truth? It seems to me that now Vision's body is renewed with uh, something inside of it that replaces the Mind Stone, but it created some kind of confusion for me. When I was watching the episode, I thought to myself, if Vision restores himself, it would be amazing. And they did it. They actually did it and I'm, I'm happy about that. Because they didn't actually kill the Vision. That's the thing that was worth waiting. Agatha. Her character, I mean, yeah, she deserves to be a villain, but not the main one. I mean, Hayward seems much, not stronger, but more frightening, I guess, because of the motive that he had. And Agatha is like, if she's a villain, why she wants to save the world from Wanda? Or it's her own selfish wishes or desires, or what was that? I mean, I didn't actually get the motivation of Agatha, and that was strange for me. <laughs> and her makeup, oh my god. When you see close on the big screen, it's not scary. <laughs> it's not even funny. It just seems like dirty. Okay, if she's moving, yes, she makes tricks, whatever. But could you make something about it in post-production? Quicksilver. I know, I mean, I was the one who was expected that Quicksilver return to this universe, like a crossover from the these two universes of the past, the future, as we see in the X-Men. But no, he's just the regular person. While well, the creators made fun of me as well. I'm like, mm, why? <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, some of the Wanda's decision in the episode created questions for me, but I'll let it slide because I liked how it ended. When it was the question about her family or just random people, I was like, family? Yeah? Family, family. <laughs> no. <laughs> Those people, ah. Who cares? Like, vision? Children? Right? Tell me in the comments below, what would you choose? Just be honest, okay? I, I would choose my family whatever yeah that's why most of the people are not heroes as they say but i don't care and again about agatha it seems like she wanted just made fun of wanda just just make her suffer or whatever because her motivation was not clear monica rambo is so cool and she has lots of superpowers or maybe just one but has different uses but I like that I like that a lot I haven't seen the Captain Marvel and I honestly don't wanna but if she's gonna be the next Captain Marvel because as I know she was in one of the comic books that would be cool because I like her character she's nice yeah and the actress plays her role very good I love that at some point, I thought that they would make Hayward the real antagonist, but they didn't. Maybe that separation on a couple of villains or a couple of threats made this ending a little bit, I mean, not certain, kind of, not clear. 
the trick that Wanda made in the end of the episode was surprising. I love that a lot. I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but if they did it, it probably does. But I like that. If I didn't get the whole process of making that, about the runes, then... Okay, about the runes. I have a question. If she really did the runes, right? So she can... Wanda, I mean. She can use magic inside that space. But why? When she was giving her powers to Agatha, her body starts to get old and, I don't know, and dry? Why? I mean, that, that, that certain moment has been not clear for me. But whatever, the ending was great. I loved that a lot. I wanted epic, I got my epic. No questions. I'm happy. WandaVision and their story, that was too sad. That was so sad. I love that. I love that and I hope that Wanda is gonna find her vision and they're gonna be together and she's gonna be happy at least somewhere. Another question that I had. If the world disappeared or what happened to the world? Where is Agatha if she was supposed to be there in that Westview, in that axe? Where is she now? She's supposed to be somewhere in the multiverse then. Because if not, that's strange. I'm not gonna discuss the thing about Monique Rambo. I already said that I know she's gonna, she might be another Captain Marvel. That would be great. And we're just gonna leave that there. I wanna talk about Wanda being in her astral body. That was cool. I mean, that makes her a lot stronger than Doctor Strange because she doesn't need to be asleep or just uh, knock out her actual physical body to be in her astral body. Wow, that was amazing. Now we can talk about Doctor Strange a little bit and how the WandaVision can lead to Doctor Strange. We probably have possible antagonists of the movie, Cthon, the Elder God that was learning the dark magic and created the Darkhold book. So probably, as we heard the screaming of Wanda's children, they probably somewhere in the multiverse or someone is deceiving Wanda and trying to get her there. And probably she's gonna just rush to save her children and that probably Doctor Strange is gonna get to know about her trying to save her children and is like, what are you doing, girl? Hmm? And that's how it all started. Probably. That's just the theory. In one of the comics, this god has something to do with Wanda getting her powers. So, probably it just can't be it. It's not a bad thing. I just hope that we're gonna like it. And I'm pretty sure that we're gonna see Agatha again because why should you have those intrigue all over the season and then just lock her down? Nah, I don't think so. She's gonna appear to us again, I'm sure about that. Why Vision just disappeared somewhere in the world and he's probably returned to Wanda or to Avengers in, at some point or to other characters of the universe that we'll see, but that's gonna be later. And actually, maybe Vision's gonna go to Wakanda where they had the copy of Vision's body. That makes sense as well. So yeah, that's what we're gonna see probably or maybe not. I just love surprises, so I just I'm gonna leave it to creators. One division is over for now. Maybe they're gonna make new seasons, but for now it was the great experiment of Marvels. I love that a lot. That was exciting to watch it. That was exciting to make this videos. I will probably make just a big video about the series itself. Just for those who didn't watch that, or for those who are just interested in it. And for now, subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave the comment about how you like the show. Thank you for watching. Watch only good movies that make you smile.